We got that yummy, yummy because we are back with Chef Patty Hinesh. She is chef and author of Treasures of the Mexican Table and host of the show La Frontera, where she explores the culture and food along the U.S.-Mexico border. And this morning, she's going to show us some recipes inspired by her travels there. Patty, welcome to GMA. It's great Yay. to see you. Yay. Yes, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me here. So your show, you're all along the border towns, California, Arizona. What were some of the most interesting things you saw? New Mexico as well. I mean, I think this journey along the U.S.-Mexico borderlands was just so inspiring, just finding really unexpected stories and unexpected foods. And in terms of food, you know, what we're making today, the chimichanga, is one of the iconic foods from the U.S.-Mexico borderlands that just like the burrito or the nachos or the fish taco, people don't know, is it American, is it Mexican? But both countries claim it as their own, and it's that part of that third country, third culture that everybody loves. So it's a mesh between the U.S. and Mexico. So we love that mesh, and you're going to show us how to do it. So where yeah. do we begin? Okay, so you use any kind. So you can pour the broth. Okay. You have some beef, and you can use beef chalk, beef round, any kind of beef stew meat. <laughs> everybody and likes that. I know. And then you can add onion and garlic. Onion and garlic. And then we're going to add. Just like this? Just like the goat in there and then some bay leaves, coriander seeds, cumin seeds, oregano, black pepper and you just cook these. It smells delicious. It, I know it's so full of flavor it makes the beef really shine. So how long are we doing this for? Like an hour and a half. An hour and a half and don't put your hand on it like don't I just did hand. because it is hot <laughs> folks. Okay and then what do and we have then here? We have some potatoes that we browned already. You can add a little bit of salt and then we add the meat that cooked in there that mm -hmm. is just falling apart. You can add a little bit of that broth and then you just cook it until it becomes like a moist, stewy kind of a feeling, which you can use for rice, for beans, or for making your chimichangas. And before we do, yes, ooh, ah. So before we do that, the, the leftover yes. uh, moisture that we've now cooked down with all those beautiful flavors, what can we do with that? You can use the beef broth to make any kind of soup soup or to cook your pasta or your rice so, so don't nothing throw goes it out to waste. I don't love throw that. it out and then the difference between a burrito and a chimichanga is that in a chimichanga you get everything that you love about the burrito but then it's fried and crisp nice and crispy okay so nice and crispy. so how do we fold it okay so you start you put your filling and yes. here we have beef and, pot and potato but you could use refried beans melty cheese yeah. anything and once you fold you make a packet. It's very important, Rebecca, to make it chubby. Absolutely. Okay, make it chubby. <laughs> to make, make it, it chubby. chubby. Okay, got it. And then you fold like that. And then, yeah. you know, the origin story is that a cook in Tucson was cooking for her nieces a lot of burritos, and one fell by mistake in the hot oil pan. And then it was crispy and perfect. It was crispy Chimi and she perfect. She screamed chimichanga. She screamed chimichanga. Yeah. It's like a whatchamacallit kind of a <laughs> name. <laughs> and then it became a thing. So here it is, the so finished version. Is. You set it down. Do you set it down yeah. this side first or this so side? So you put the open, like the envelope side first. Okay, so got it. Seal. And then yeah. you could deep Ooh. fry it, but shallow fry makes it perfect too. And then look at how crispy. Nice and, and crispy oh, yeah. and perfect. Oh, and, and it then, is something yeah. beautiful. Yeah, and then you can just go to town with the garnishes because hot sauce. Hot sauce, crema. So let's dress these things. Excellent. So yeah. crema. Ooh, beautiful. And then lettuce. And you know I love the extra hot sauce, by the way. I, I love more nice hot sauce. Nice and spicy. I Keep it spicy. Too. And then queso fresco, and then a lot of salsa, and then, yeah. We and then a, a fork and a knife. And then a fork and Are a knife. Are you going to join me? Of course. Excellent. So different from a burrito, this one you have to eat with a fork and knife, but then you end up getting your fingers in there, too. Beautiful. Anyway. Um, and you can see so many of these foods, you know, along my journey, I tasted so many incredible things. Mm. Yeah. And that is sure incredible. Price, isn't it incredible? I'm going with my hands. And then for dessert, you also brought some cookies. Mm -hmm. These are hojarascas, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. these are the cinnamon cookies mm -hmm. with the special with the special sugar. Mm -hmm. wow. I'm hungry. <laughs> with the piloncillo. <laughs> yeah, with the piloncillo. 
And these cookies have all-purpose flour and masarina too. Excellent. Well, you can scan the QR code on screen mm -hmm. to get these recipes on goodmorningamerica.com. <laughs> and you can see Patty's show La Frontera Mondays on PBS. And we'll be right back. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you so much.